Yeah. We have to sketch G X. Oh, interesting. They've done it backwards. They've given us the result of the transformation and they want the original. So in fact, yeah, you're right. It's the opposite. We have to expand everything by two. So this point here is minus four zero. This point here is twelve zero. And this point here is two five. Oh, you got that sum too. Hmm. I thought I thought the the max point. No, a, a, all x values. Okay. This is y equals g x. Huh? They tricked you. That graph there is G two X. Look at the picture. Yes. Yeah. That's the picture after the transformation. After the transformation. So they wanted the previous picture. Yeah, because when two X equal one, therefore X equal half, they can get one equal one. So it should be half. Half? Five? Yeah, because this is G twice graph. Therefore, one equals one. So, actually, half. Huh? No, 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 no. What are you saying, Jerry? No, you can't make the two out like this. Oh, is that what he's doing? It's like, I think it's like G two as it goes to Y, then you make it go to the left, so it's equal to G as it goes to Y. Did you say G two X equals what? Y equals five. Equals five, yeah. When two X equals one. Yeah. So that means G one equals five. G half equals five. No, Jerry. Jerry. Two X is here, yes. Yeah. What did you say 2x equals? 1. 1. So can I not say this is 1? Mm -hmm. yeah, G1 so yeah. G1 equals 5? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes. G1 equals 5. Oh, but I said G2 equals 5. G1 equals 5. G... Oh yeah, here, sorry. 2x equals 1, g1 equals 5. Huh? You confused me, Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, confusion is good. And then divide by 2. Jerry's got a good point. y equals g2x. When x is 1, Mm -hmm. Y is five. 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 On the so that means G two equals five. Yeah, which is what I drew. Yeah. Um. This is this is wrong here. Well, no, that's not wrong. 2x equals 1. Yeah. Oh, no, when x equals 1. Yeah, when x equals 1. Not when 2x equals 1. Their picture here, Jerry. Their picture here. This is 1, and this is 5. And they said y equals g... 2x. Yeah. So here, this is x, not 2x. So when x equals 1, y equals 5. So that means g of 2 equals 5. So if I was to draw 
this is g of 2x. If I was to draw g of 2 x, uh, g of x, g of 2 makes 5. I'm happy I'm right. But I can see you're confused. Continue. Well, we know that the 2x makes it smaller. And this picture is the answer. So if the answer is smaller, then the question was bigger. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Hx equals 1 over x plus 6. Uh, what's h inverse? Well, let's do it the quick way. If I start off with x, what I do first is get the reciprocal, and then I add 6. So h inverse of x would be I minus 6, and then get the reciprocal. So this should be the inverse function. By the way, the derivative function is log x. No, it's not. It's a dirty lie. It's minus 1 over x squared. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, like, yes, yes, log x. Sure is. Uh, so I need to solve when these are equal. So when 1 over x minus 6 equals minus 1 over x squared. So that means when x squared equals 6 minus x. So when x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. So that means that's x plus a uh, minus 3, x equals minus 3, or 2. two. Yeah. Bump. Mm. Where, where is it? No. Mm. Yes? Yes. Which is yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Good. Bad. Sleepy. Hungry. No breakfast. Why no breakfast? Too much studying. Yeah. My fault. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Close this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep.